The construction of the nation's fastest highway flawed from the beginning. Those are the claims of the new owners of the 85 mile an hour section of State Highway 130. The tollway runs west of Austin from Georgetown down to Seguin. A private company owns and collects tolls on the southern end, partnering with TxDOT to build the road back in 2007. Last night on KXAN News at 10, we told you about the crashes and deaths that have happened since that highway opened. Tonight, we reveal a bankruptcy filing showing builders knew the highway was coming apart, now forcing a multi-million dollar fix. The nation's fastest highway has held on to a secret. After opening in 2012, this billion dollar bypass is undergoing major surgery. The reason, a federal lawsuit claims the people who built it made some mistakes before they ever opened the southern section of SH-130. I've been in this business for 40 years. When I came out here the first time, I had never seen a road with this light truck traffic, this age, in the condition it was in. Andy Bailey's the new SH-130 CEO. He joined the company two years ago, a company that was broke and facing millions of dollars in repairs because the highway was coming apart. This federal bankruptcy filing explains why. The lawsuit accuses Central Texas Highway Constructors, the firm that built the southern section of SH-130, of cutting corners, didn't follow construction standards, and in the end, designed and constructed a facility with significant defects from one end to the other. I believe that had it been properly designed and properly constructed, the problems that we been addressing, we would have never encountered them with a properly designed and constructed roadway. The road's southern section's billion dollar price tag was funded by private investors and a half billion dollar taxpayer loan from the feds. After the bankruptcy, those lenders took over ownership of the company. They started going through the books and found what they described as a company hiding major construction defects. The court record claims that was all done by San Antonio-based Zachary Industrial and Spanish companies Ferrovial and Centra. They're the companies that previously owned and built the highway. Court records contain internal emails where the private company, the builders and the owners knew from the start the subgrade had problems and would cause the highway to crack and heave. A point the lawsuit contends the owners hid from the public and their lenders. They also knew the traffic projections used to convince the state to sign on to the project weren't worth the paper they were written on. The original traffic projections were wildly overstated. The company did a couple of additional traffic projections and still missed. It sounds like those could have set this company up for failure from the beginning with their inaccuracies? I believe that the fundamental reason the company went into bankruptcy was the flawed traffic projections. The projections were used to prove to lenders that enough cars would use the toll road to provide enough cash flow to repay the loans. The federal filing shows the first year the highway opened, traffic counts were supposed to be 40,000 toll trips each month, when in reality, only 5,000 happened. In an email uncovered in the bankruptcy, an executive wrote about the horrible car counts and I hope that nobody starts asking questions. The evidence that something's wrong with a privately owned section of SH-130 is still easy to see still today. As soon as you cross into the 85 mile an hour southern section, it's a patch job of new and old pavement. The new SH-130 concession company owners are in the middle of a $175 million effort to fix this highway. Do you believe in 40 years when Texas gets this toll road back that this will be something that the state of Texas can be proud of? At the end of this concession, Texas will have the road it should have had in an almost new condition. The new CEO also told me the company is now able to pay its bills and is relying on more realistic traffic projections today. This was supposed to be an answer to traffic congestion on I-35 through Austin. The CEO told me they now realize SH-130 is nothing more than a freight corridor for 18-wheelers. Well, the court battles aren't over yet. What do the new owners want? 
Well, Robert, they want some of the money back from the former owners and the construction company that built the highway and knew there were problems that the new company is paying to repair today. Now, the contract said this highway would be built to standard and built without any construction problems. Thanks, Jody. Centra, the Spanish company involved in the SH-130 construction, tells us the allegations against it have no merit and it will defend itself. It stands by what it calls a 50-year history of successfully delivering transportation solutions around the world. The other company involved, San Antonio-based Zachary Industrial, told us in a statement they deny all the allegations and that the company does not comment on open lawsuits. To see an interactive timeline of how SH-130 came together, check out this story in the investigative section of KXAN.com.